Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a least squares regression line for a data set. So the first step is to enter in your explanatory variables in list L1 and your response in list L2. And I'm going to do the example we had been looking at is, uh, of the uh, fat gain versus uh, non-exercise activity change. So let me just enter in uh, those uh, data values. So we had minus 94 and I'll just quickly enter the all right so at this point I have all the data entered and uh, next thing I want to do is I just want to make my scatter plot so to do that I just do second stat plot remember and uh, I can see on the big screen over here that uh, plot one is on and let's just take a look at what that looks like uh, it's on the type is scatter plot uh, explanatory x1 is list1 and response is l2 and look all looks good so let's just click graph and if it didn't if I didn't didn't fill the window I would just uh, remember to do zoom 9 uh, first to try to get it to fit into the window so it looks good here and my least squares regression line should be a line that kind of goes through like this so how do we do that well it's pretty easy actually we just click on stat then calc and you could scroll down or you could just press 8 which does linear regression a plus bx and we just have to tell it well what do you want to be x and y so we'll say we want uh, the list l1 to be our x comma and l2 we want to be our y and then the last thing is you want to store it as y1 in your function so you just click on variables uh, go over to Y variables, uh, one will be highlighted function, hit enter, and then the first one, Y1, just hit enter like that, and then hit enter again, and then it says, okay, here's your linear regression, it's Y equals A plus BX, or Y hat, as we said in class, A is the Y intercept, 3.505, blah, 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 and B is the slope, minus 0 0.00344. So let's see if uh, how that looks on the graph. So then you can just click on graph now, and it draws it in for us. And here's our linear regression, uh, our least squares linear regression line. Uh, now, next question is, what if you want to find out what's the predicted value uh, that this line gives for a particular explanatory variable. So the easiest way I could do that is I could just do second calc and value. One is highlighted so we hit enter and the calculator asks you what x value do you want to look at. So I'll say um, how about x equals 160. So I'll just type 160. When I do that I hit enter and it's flashing right here to show me this is x equals 160 and the y value that's predicted is 2.95 so 160 calories predicts a 2.95 kilogram weight gain I can check out another one that was 160 let's try uh, 180 so, or 185 so 185 hit enter and it shows me 185 right there predict 2.86 and uh, let's try one a little bit farther away let's try uh, 250 and uh, it shows me right where 250 is there and uh, 2.64 so if you want to know the uh, predicted response variable based on particular explanatory variable once you have the least squares linear regression line, you can just do that easily by clicking calc. So that's about it.